All right, so I guess I'm still new at this editing stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Not sure where the video last cut up. I was looking in the cameras no longer recording, so, you know, ID10T error, if you guys have ever heard of that, I'll explain later. Um, so here we have it. Here's a pan, and I'm going to open this up. So we got that, and um, I did wash my hands, guys. That's actually one of the first things about the Gracie Diet. There's different belts. I still haven't opened the book yet, but it, we first start by washing your hands before you eat. And probably cook. So I did actually wash my hands when I did. So, like, we're totally safe. Um, so let me wash my hands again. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and open these things up. And through the magic of video editing, we have these, and they are individually wrapped. So I need to put the camera down again because I don't have a camera person to record me. So we got this thing opened up, and what we're going to do is we are going to pop this in here, and since it's like stuck to the paper because it's still frozen, we're just going to put some water on it so it like, do this, and it's no longer stuck, and you just put that right here, so this actually looks like a heart. So we're going to do this here, and we have some salt, so let's use the salt from yesterday. We did pick salt on both sides, alright, and let's get some garlic powder. It probably was a little bit too much, but I like garlic. Put this over. Some more garlic. Okay, so we got this here, and we have that. And um, I'm going to put some type of olive oil on it. Uh, well, let's go ahead and try that. This tunes tends to be a little bit dry sometimes. And we will put some. One trick if you don't want to pour a lot of oil, you don't take the top off all the way. And we do it this way. So we get a little bit controlled pour. So, those of you who don't have one of those little fancy oil things, uh, you can do that. And we probably should have put on the oil before we put on the seasoning so it can mix up. But we have a spin air, and we'll just go ahead and put it on there. Alright. Mix it up, make it pretty. And, um, like I said, I don't have a microwave. Maybe I just like to suffer, but we are going to place this on 420. That number keeps following me. We are going to bake this, and let's go ahead and turn it on for a good half hour. Hopefully that should cook everything. And... We'll just put it through here. So, um, I'm actually going to put it on this thing because this gets real hot. Looks like I need to clean my little toaster oven, right? It's a little, I don't know, but it's, we'll see. Alright, so let's put this here. Here. All right, so while this stuff is uh, cooking, I am going to take myself a shower because it's been a long day and I deserve it. And I actually may come back without any clothes on. So, um, 
Yeah, so we'll be back. Hey, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say I'm back because I just like edit out all the time that you guys are waiting, but I am actually back with no clothes. So like the other video said that it probably cut out. Um, I was in the bathroom more than the time that was in the oven. The food's done. I'll get to that. But um, I was checking the recordings and I did not record it. And I was thinking, oh, I missed the recording and all this other stuff and complaining and stuff like that. And I was thinking, it's good that it wasn't recorded because that's what I was doing. I was complaining. I came in here saying how tired I was, how long my day was. And there's always someone better or worse out than you. So I know there's, there's a lot more people who are a lot more tired than me and a lot more hungry than me and all the other stuff. So uh, once that happened, I went to my gratitude list. So I'm very thankful that I have food here and all that other good stuff. I'm going to eat, eat healthy and all other stuff. So if you find yourself complaining, stuff like that, just start thinking about the stuff that you didn't have that you have now or even the stuff that you want. Just say that you're thankful for it and, you know, eventually you may get it if you work for it. Uh, but just change the gratitude attitude. Have an attitude of gratitude and that will change your stuff. So let's go ahead and continue on a positive note. So what we missed uh, was, yeah, the concept was you get home and you're supposed to eat healthy and, like, you're tired and, you know... You don't want to do fast food. So uh, let's kind of rewind here before we check this food out. Uh, we got a backup. So we have one of these frozen thingamajigs. Grilling. I actually bought it for the grill, but it goes in the oven too. There you go. And then I have this other tuna steak, which I bought frozen. And the name tag is right here. I probably should clean this up, but... So we put it in the oven for 30 minutes. We just threw this on top of it, put some seasoning on it. And uh, if you forgot, just go back and watch the video again. Appreciate it. Um, so we go here and we grab our little fancy. Th and this is what we have. All right. So this is a tuna steak. It looks like pork, but it's tuna. And there's like some vegetables. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plate this because... It doesn't really look too pretty right now. So I'm actually going to cut the video because I want to clean up some of this mess. Like, it bothers me, so I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So give me a break. I'm going to clean this stuff, and then I'm just going to plate it. And then I'm going to say peace out and have dinner um, while you do what you do. But I'll be back if I have to say that. So I'm going to cut all this stuff out. Okay, so uh, through the magic of video editing, my kitchen is cleaner. Not totally clean, but cleaner. So let's continue where we left off is the plating. So uh, this is the food. Eh, looks good. Let's see if it's done. I did wash my hands, and uh, for those of you that work at a restaurant, they do a lot worse. So, and if I was actually cooking for you, I wouldn't use my hand, but since I'm cooking for myself, I don't care, um, but, but, and I digress. So, um, it's actually pretty good. I'm going to get a plate here, and we put that there, and what we're going to do is we're going to plate this very carefully, okay, so, uh, what we're going to do is we want to make it look real nice and present, uh, and presentable. Um, I'm not even sure if that's a word and I since I'm teaching English I probably should use English correctly for my students who are listening to this because uh, I speak Portuguese in the other ones and I probably should be speaking English in those either but let's get on with life right. Uh, so let's do this and let's plate it. So normally I just do something like this. Alright. I'm gonna get a fork. I'm gonna turn this around. And all right, put that over there and mix it up to make it look pretty. As I said, 
see. Alright. You could probably separate these vegetables and it'll probably look better. Uh, but. So there we have it, and we can put like, looks a little dry. I don't want to be negative or anything, but it looks a little dry. So um, what we can do is, I have dressing, and these like look natural. Um, I'm not sure if they are, but uh, it's assembly. So this here, this seems it has a lot more ingredients than I thought it did. But hey, let's. I'm just gonna put a little on the side because I don't want to my food but we'll see all right. all right, I kind of made a mess more like a bird passed over it but we'll go ahead and clean that up I seen this on Chef Ramsay, clean the plate like this to make it look clean. So we do this. Make it look clean and pretty because we mixed it up. And alright, and there you have it. We have tuna and vegetables. I couldn't think of a fancy name. Tuna grilled with vegetables or something like that. But anyway, uh, this is what we have. And um, normally I like to check labels on things, but with real food, like we know what this is, it like grew from something. Guys, like what what did this come from? You know, a potato, what did this come from? Like a carrot, what did this come from? Like a broccoli sprout, and what did this come from? Like an animal that looks like a dolphin. Um, so since we know the origins of this food we really don't need to count calories just because it's it's good for us um, but we do count calories on things that were just kind of mixed up and made um, before it comes in um, but again I'm not a dietitian maybe there's some special diet that you go to but I can eat all the meats and vegetables that I want uh, without care but you know there's still workouts to do so I'm not perfect no one's perfect but at least I'm trying uh, when I get the courage, I'll put my photos up when I was a lot heavier. Um, and then, you know, I can find a little bit more because I'm actually proud of the work I did. So, and then I'm trying to share this with all of you um, who had difficult times in trying to get to a better diet. A uh, Gracie diet follows really simple rules. We're getting to that. But other than that, uh, I'm just posting like healthy eating that's obtainable and there's not much to it. So you don't need to know a lot. Um, Need look at my stove. I don't really even I don't use my stove for cooking and I don't have a microwave, so we make meals like this. Yeah, that's probably about five bucks at the supermarket, and then we just put it in the oven, take a shower, and come out, and we have dinner already. And you don't have to do the plating thing, you can eat it out of the container, but hey, why not if I'm late? So, um, if you guys like it, uh, let me know, and I'm going to have dinner, and uh, it looks good, so maybe I'll let you know how it is. I'm not going to be back tonight. Maybe. Alright, I'll see you guys later. I'm back. That is really good. And this here, I'm not promoting. You guys need to pay me. But um, it really made the this pop. Look at that. There we go. This balsamic stuff. So yeah, it, this is a winner. Uh, for those of you who understand super pop, um, yeah, it's a show in Brazil. Google it. There's a uh, part on there that shows a lot of um, models. Um, Super Pop, Brazilian show. There's a Mid Jagger link to that, so find you guys. 
and I'm gonna continue eating because this is a lot better than I thought, so I'm so glad I didn't do the fast food route.